Now, I know. I know what you're thinking. I said I would be doing a gaming video next, but here I am, back with the towels and my dirty-ass shirt. But this is extremely important, which is why I'm posting this on, like, probably Sunday or something, and I'll do a normal gaming video on Wednesday. This is probably one of the biggest announcements of the year. This is something so important, I would probably declare it as a threat level midnight. Threat level midnight. God, I hate myself. So, over this past week, I've been in the midst of working on a The Office video because, you know, I've just recently finished it. I'm kind of like a, a tier one Office viewer. I've only watched the entire thing once. Like, to reach tier, like, even three, you have to watch it at least five times over, you know, because there are some pretty, there are some pretty intense viewers out there. But I was planning on doing this because, you know, coming at the tail end of 2017 and, you know, kind of staying strong throughout 2018, there have just been a few basic rumors of, oh, you know, The Office is going to come back as a reboot. And you got people from every which way saying, no, don't do it, it's a bad idea. And I understand what they were saying. But I was going to kind of come in and say, oh, well, maybe if they do this, maybe if they do that, it wouldn't be so bad. We can just stop trying to, like, restrict what they're doing. But then in the midst of making the script for that, we got Space Force. So Space Force is a new show coming to Netflix by um, one of the executive producers of The Office, Greg Daniels, and Steve Carell, who you may know as Michael Scott, who will also be starring in it. Now... This is setting off alarm bells in uh, fans' minds, right? Because obviously, we don't have a lot to go off of here. There wasn't, like, the trailer was very bare bones. It just kind of said what was happening. It didn't really show any footage of the actual show. And for all we know, this could still be a prank. Like, this could be an early April Fool's joke. Like, I might just make this video to look like an idiot. Obviously, we don't know much about it. But if I was a gambling man... I would bet a lot of money that this is going to be kind of like The Office reboot. Obviously, no no one's like said anything that it's going to be, but the trailer says, from the makers of The Office, you kind of figure this is going to be one of those things where it's going to be shaky cam, they're going to be working at a job. And so, with all of this good news, this is, you know, making a lot of mixed reactions from fans. You know, some people are extremely happy, some people are skeptical. I'm here to tell you why I think this is the best thing to happen to humanity since sliced bread. Like, God has joined the server, you know what I'm saying? And I'm also here to kind of give you a warning. I'm here to advise you on what I think is the best way to view this, because this, uh, this is kind of an important event. So I'm going to do a quick recap on what I was going to talk about with uh, my other video about The Office. So I was going to talk about the evidence on why... Uh, a sort of traditional reboot of The Office wouldn't have worked so well, as many fans have stated. I'm going to just compile it all, because you can find this information online. So basically, um, the rumors have been spreading that, you know, oh, The Office uh, is going to reboot. Um, Jim, Pam, Andy, a few other characters have expressed varying levels of interest on whether they're coming back. So, like, none of them have been really forward, like, I'm coming back. And so no one knows if that had even happened what the uh, cast would look like. Obviously, um, Steve Carell would not be coming back, so they would not be getting a Michael Scott, so people were worried about that. And um, no one knew if Dwight Schrute was going to come back. Uh, Rain Wilson. <laughs> Sometimes you start calling these people by just, like, you know, the names from the show. <laughs> so then people were saying, oh, what if it's, like, a new cast, or, like, maybe a mix of old and new characters? And people were saying, no, that's not going to work out. You know, uh, you know, like, the dynamic's gonna be different, it's just gonna look stupid, and all these new characters are gonna have to get attached to, so it's gonna have to do very well, and, you know, that's kind of a high standard. So then the other option people were thinking of was, oh, uh, what about a uh, Christmas special? You know, a little, uh, where are they now? And then, you know, some people were like, yeah, but we kind of already know where they are now. They, ho they kind of wrapped up everyone's storyline, and it's all good now, so why do we need to do a Christmas special? So the naysayers, although they were... Correct, kept putting down the idea of an office reboot until Space Force. Space Force, I think, gets rid of all the problems of an office reboot. And if it is going to be like The Office, which again, we still don't know, if it is going to be anything like The Office, it's the best possible way to reboot The Office. First off, entirely new scenario. 
you know, we don't have to focus on Scranton anymore, although Scranton will be in our hearts forever. We have to move away from that because, you know, restarting that all would just kind of cause conflicts and not be as nice. This is starting from a clean slate. There's a new job, um, the Space Force, which um, our wonderful president has announced uh, sometime last year, I think. And I think it fits perfectly with the office's theme. Dunder Mifflin was kind of funny in the way that it was a paper products company. And so it was like the job there was almost so menial and so boring in some aspects that like they had to make fun of it. Like they had to make fun in their job, which is why they got into all sorts of crazy situations. I think that was a good part of it. With the Space Force, it's this new job that like no one really knows what exactly they're going to do yet. Although um, some people have said that, yes, they are important. And I think, I think I agree that in the future they will become very important. Right now they're kind of just like, so what, what do we do now? I'm kind of just waiting to have a Death Star. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I think the Space Force is the perfect job to do because um, I think they can get into a lot of crazy situations. Although... It being like a branch of like, you know, the military and all that might be kind of weird. Not entirely sure how that's going to work out, but I think it'll still make it uh, for a funny experience. Another thing, Steve Carell will be in it. Everyone's main worry was like, oh, he's not going to be in it. He's not going to be Michael Scott. Obviously, it's hard to tell if he's going to be a Michael Scott type character even. I don't think so. I think he's going to be playing someone else, but... It's a comedy, so I think we can assume he's going to bring a really good character that we're going to start relating to right away. Now here's the part of the video I was talking about, the sort of warning. Um, the one thing I don't like about Space Force is that it's coming out on Netflix. Now, I have nothing wrong with Netflix. I love Netflix. But the thing about The Office was, although I was a young lad when it was actually airing on television, the thing about The Office was that you can kind of come together every like you know Saturday, Wednesday, Thursday night, and uh, view it together. It's a communal experience. You know, it's the office. It's there. And with Netflix, you can still do that. But I think Netflix is more personalized towards individual binge watchers than people who are going to, like, do it together. So just some advice I would give to you is um, maybe make a little bit of an effort to get people together. Make a little viewing party of Space Force if you got some people interested. Because I think it's a lot better to view these things with friends and family because... It's kind of like an experience to go through together. Maybe I'm just being too emotional. And maybe that's my personal preference, obviously. I'm not saying that you're dumb if you watch these kind of shows alone. If you do it alone, you know, that's fine. You know, alone forever, gang. <laughs> Another thing that you may have already realized, but I'm going to warn you guys just in case. Don't have high expectations. Which, having high expectations in life Honestly, it's a bad idea. If you keep your expectations low all the time, you'll be happy a lot more, I'm telling you. But seriously, a lot of people are going to be putting a lot of pressure on this show. They're going to be thinking, this is The Office, this is going to have good jokes. And although it's probably going to be very good, let's just wait and see. Let's watch this like it's a new experience. Let's pretend like we have no idea what the show is. Let's pretend like... You know, this is like, I don't know, 2000. Like, what, what's The Office? The Office has never come out, and we're just watching this brand new show that's come out by some weirdo named Steve Carell. Who's that? And Greg Daniels? I've never heard of Greg Daniels. And we're just going to consume it and process it in our brains and be happy with it. Along those same lines, don't watch the show, you know, just so, like, you can know I want to get all the cool new uh, inside jokes right away so I can, you know, get my little shirt with the slogan on it with, you know, Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica, you know, so I can start talking like, oh, have you seen, like, you know, Dwight Troop 2.0? Oh, oh, Space Force. Don't watch the show just to, like, become a fan. Watch the show and then determine if you want to be a fan because this is going to be a different experience. If you don't like it, that does suck, but it's okay. You could still go back and rewatch The Office if you liked it. And if you like Space Force, then you keep going with Space Force. This has kind of been like a short, weird update, I know, but like this news has just recently come out. I'm still, again, not even sure if this is just a prank or not. But I think I just wanted to get this off my chest because, first off, it kind of ruined my uh, 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 original Office script, which wasn't going to be that good anyway. But 
I don't know. I've just I've been really conna- uh, attached to the office, as many people have been. And when it left me, I kind of had a hole. I was very upset when I found all this evidence that oh, the office is never going to get a reboot. The office is just going to be kind of a past experience and nothing's ever going to match that. And I was like, dang, that's sad. I still have like 60 years to live, probably. Have to do that without shows like The Office? That sucks. And then Space Force comes out and breaks everyone's perception. But yeah, I kind of have hope for humanity now. I always thought we'd all be dead by 2065, but... You know, nuclear war, uh, you know, global warming. But then Space Force comes out? I think we might just have hope. The Office was a show that showed us our humanity. It, um, it showed us that, you know, although we have conflicts and tensions, we're always in the same sort of building together and we have to work that out. It showed us that no matter where we are in life, we can find a way to make it work. I believe it was Creed at the finale of the show who said, no matter how you get there or where you end up, human beings have this miraculous gift to make that place home. And then he got arrested, but you know, that's, that's nothing we're gonna talk about right now. The office taught us that people are different and that is okay. These differences can cause clashes, these differences can cause problems, but at the end of the day, y'all can dance in the break room. It's fine. I think The Office was an escape for us that sort of taught us some lessons about ourselves. And in a time where hate and ugh, all other sorts of nasty things are going around, I think Space Force might be what we need. Obviously it's not going to be a profound experience, maybe, but I think it's going to be like The Office in the fact that it's going to show a group of people who are doing their best with what they have you know, sort of working together as different people and uniting to make something. And if the show doesn't end up being The Office, I think that's okay. Because although I desperately need it back, it's done now. And the characters have shown me and a lot of other people a lot of things. And I don't think... I think it would be wrong to kind of wake them up again and go, hey, I, uh, I kind of need some more life messages from you. <laughs> but whatever the case, you can catch me on whatever date they're releasing Space Force watching that shit up. Because I think there's just a chance that it might be the next greatest thing ever created. And as always, thanks for watching.